Ten years ago, James Clutton gave me a role. Me! I can't, I, I just can't get over it. And ten years ago he said, Carol, we can't give you very much money, but we'll treat you like a queen. Ten years later, he's kept to his word. I still don't get very much money, but I love the man. I can't tell you how much I love him. Do you know, everything, everything my career has become, has been because of James Clutton. There are just no one in this world, there is no one in this world that I trust like James Clutton. There now, what do you say about that then? That's a bit excessive, isn't it? Excessive. But it's true. I love him. So, James, uh, congratulations on 10 wonderful years at Opera Holland Park. Um, I just want to say personally how. Uh, what a great job. Actually, could we just do this again a bit? Oh, get a grip. James, fantastic 10 years. Uh, we started our work together about six years ago now with uh, Onyegin and then the Queen of Spades and uh, we've had lots of happy memories and I, I hope uh, they continue for the future. All the best. Oh, hello Alec. Way. I'm just doing, listen, I'm just doing this uh, film for James Clutton. Oh? Okay, take two. Now, have you pulled yourself yeah. together? Okay. So James, uh, congratulations on, on Oh, for God's sake. James, I'll never forget the final run through of Tosca. Do you remember you called me out at the interval with a very serious face saying that you wanted to have a word with me and I thought, oh my God, you're going to sack me, you hate it. I was so worried and of course it turned out really well. Um, I just want to thank you, James, for giving me uh, an opportunity uh, to show that what I can do, no other opera company in this country was prepared to give me that opportunity and you've given it to me and you've given it to me three times, four times now with Fox and because of your belief in me people are now starting to, to notice me and what I do so I can't thank you enough James. I wanted to say something really funny and stupid but actually from my heart thank you so much James you're brilliant and uh, thank you for believing in me. James, it's been a pleasure to work for you for the last last four years. Every year at Holland Park, it's uh, something new and something different, new and exciting productions, and always such a great team spirit, great place to work, and always great to have a big drink at the end of the show. I just want to uh, thank you, really, from the bottom of my uh, heart uh, for everything you've done. I've been lucky, really. I've been a part of six or seven years of those ten um, here and bloody great times um, and I'll never forget after my first sort of season here uh, after Marriage of Figaro uh, one of the nicest things you ever said after this season was over you're part of the family now Boyle and um, that's what what you've brought to this company you know it feels very much like a, a family you know and um, so here's to the next 10 years boy okay die down well, like I first met James when he and I were doing time, like a Dartmoor prison with his bank job, somebody grassed us up. Anyway, some cross veteran, some tranny, some cross dressing tranny tried to love him up and get jiggy with him in the shower, and that's what we call him Blade ever since. It was really a mess. Anyway, we've come a long way since then. Here we are at Holland Park, and James, I love you. Just stay out of the showers. Okay, this is your last chance. Okay. <clears throat> so, James, uh, Congratulations on 10 years at Holland Park. Uh, you know, it's it's hard to think that uh, you know, those years ago when uh, when you first employed me and you, when you were first here, it was just a few guys in a tent. Actually, congratulations. Well, James, James Clutton. When I left Covent Garden, I thought my world had ended, and suddenly, three or two years after that. Uh, Tom Hawkes and Peter Rice, the designer, persuaded me to come and work on Louisiana at Holland Park. It was the best move I ever made because there I met Mr. James Clutton in his second or third year as the producer of that company, of this company. I've never met such a, an, an enthusiastic guy. He's so keen to get this off the ground. 
He works every minute of every day for one thing only, Holland Park Opera. And it's a pleasure for me to come in every day. It's going back to my old days when Covent Garden was hard up for a bob or two. But not like this place is hard up for a bob or two. But we fight tooth and nail to make good productions, and we do. And I think this season particularly shows the great standard that this company under James Clutton has reached. Good luck and love to James. James, when I started in the theatre, I worked for a management called HM Tennant under Binky Beaumont, one of the great um, empresarios and of a dying and died race. When I worked with you, I suddenly realised that the race was not extinct and that the shadow of Binky carried on, rather more than the shadow. So thank you, James, for ten very splendid years for me in my latter years to have had the opportunity to do some, I think, of my best productions. I love the way you have looked after us all and nurture all the young talent, and I wish you the greatest success for the next 20 years. James, I've been coming here for nine years and the pay is diabolical. That's why I keep bringing my caravan and all the rest of my family here to sort you out if you don't sort it. James Clutton, congratulations. Ten years at Holland Park and what an achievement. It's not just a beautiful place to go and watch opera, it also produces productions of an international standard and most people, certainly me, am very, very proud to say that I've worked for the last few years at Holland Park. When I first came to Holland Park, I was a little green and a little inexperienced and I just wanted to say a personal thank you for always looking after me, always supporting in me, always believing in me. Um, and as a young singer, those are crucial things, I'm afraid. Um, I had amazing experiences here that I'll take with me forever. And I really look forward to seeing what you do over the next 10 years. You should be hugely, hugely proud of yourself and I certainly am to have worked here and to have known you. Thank you. There really were lots of people who wanted to contribute to this film, but they are scattered around the globe and they couldn't. And no doubt they would have also have said lots of lovely, lovely things about you. Uh, which is also fair enough, because it has been an incredible 10 years and there are lots of people who wanted to mark it. Um, when you first came to see me 10 years ago, you actually spent the whole meeting talking about football, which was very clever because it was only when you started work a couple of weeks later that you told me you'd never worked in opera before. But that was fine. It didn't make any difference. You became what you are today very quickly. And uh, those 10 years that you have achieved all of those things in have been tough. A lot of people know how tough it's been but I'm not sure they really know how tough it's been. Um, and of course, lots of things have happened in that time. There's been marriages, there's been divorces, there have been children. Uh, we've had wolves at the door the whole time, and it continues today. But you managed to do all the things you've done in the most incredible circumstances. And of course, we're all really proud of what's been achieved here. And um, you should be too, and I'm sure you are. So enjoy the rest of the night, don't get too drunk, big love. <laughs>